It's hard to believe that a bold declaration by a brand new nation would have even more relevance nearly two and a half centuries later. But America is always changing, striving to meet the ideals of the founding fathers. John Trumbull's iconic painting, The Declaration of Independence, shows Thomas Jefferson presenting the first draft to Congress. The document was signed by 56 men in 1776. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. 241 years later, we mutually pledge to each other. Our lives, our fortunes, and, and our, our sacred, sacred honor. The portrait was brought to life by descendants of the signers, an evolution of America's colorful palette, gathered together by the company Ancestry. We met three of them. My name is Shannon Lanier, and I am the sixth great-grandson of Thomas Jefferson. My name is Andrea Livingston, and I am the eighth great-granddaughter of Philip Livingston. And I'm Laura Murphy, the seventh great-granddaughter of Philip Livingston. When you see the new picture, the new image, it's a picture of diverse people, black, white, Hispanic, uh, Native American, a little bit of everything, Asian, and that's more of a representation of this country. Andrea Livingston is half Filipino. She recently learned she's a descendant of one of the signers. It is a point of pride, um, but I think we have a long way to go. The ideas that they were creating, the ideas that they were putting into words, um, we still need to strive to make those ideas real. Laura Murphy is Livingston's newfound cousin. Anything's possible in this, in this country. If we can build some connection to our history, it may give us a greater degree of compassion and empathy and humanity, which is what I think the country needs right now. But that phrase, um, all men are created equal, what does that mean to you? How does that resonate with you today? It's a powerful statement that I still don't think rings true to a lot of people in this country. They don't feel that. Um, sometimes I don't feel that in certain environments, but I think it's something that we can strive for. It's something that we can, as a country, try to work hard to get to. We are so many different people. We're, we look so different. We are so different, but we are all the same at the same time.